it possible to consume too many artificial sweeteners? Well, there, an acceptable daily intake level has been set by the FDA, the Federal D Drug Administration. And that acceptable daily intake level is, there's a huge margin of error of safety. And in fact, it's like a hundred times uh, way you know below what would ever considered to be toxic and we don't we don't even get near those kinds of levels in this country in the way that we consume them. Are there any concerns about safety when it comes to artificial sweeteners? As far as the research is concerned and as far as the regulatory agencies are concerned, no, I mean, you would really have to consume thousands and thousands of the equivalent of a diet soda to get anywhere near any sort of toxic level. So the amounts that we consume them generally are safe. be surprised to know that yogurt has artificial sweeteners in it. And I think people tend to think of yogurt as a healthy food, which it is, mm -hmm. but typically the yogurts that we purchase have a lot of added sugar in them. Mm -hmm. And they're really more of a dessert, but they are a great way to get calcium and protein and some of those other nutrients that we really need. But if we want to avoid all that added sugar, let's purchase the ones that have the non caloric sweeteners in here. Like this one has sucralose in it. This one has 140 calories. This one has 100. You're saving 40 calories. Now that may not seem like a lot, but over time it can really be a significant difference. So the benefits of saving calories far outweigh any even perceived danger of an artificial sweetener. Absolutely. I, I, we really are far too paranoid about the dangers of artificial sweeteners and we're, we're not worried enough about consuming too much added Cal sugar. Great point.